think you will like this story. It's about a penguin. <laughs> and it has a happy ending. Okay, so this penguin is waddling along the Antarctic, minding his own business, but checking things out, you know, in the way that penguins do. And he looks up ahead and sees a big, white, hulking, something or other, on the horizon, which is weird. And the penguin's curious, as penguins naturally are, by the way. So he starts to waddle toward the big, white, hulking something or other to find out what it is exactly. As he waddles, he hears a cry. Hey! Hey there! Now, of course, the penguin wonders if he's the one being spoken to, but he really hopes not, because this voice is all high-pitched and squeaky, annoying, you know? So he carries on. Hey! Penguin! <sighs> well, poop. The penguin stops, looks around, but there's no one. So he continues. This time, the penguin looks up and sees an albatross circling above. A girl albatross. <laughs> what do you want? said the penguin. And there's a definite haughtiness in his voice. You see, the penguin always feels like albatrosses are judging him. Because he, you know, he's a bird that can't fly. Because he's a penguin. So anyway, the albatross looks down on the penguin. Of course he does. She does. And says, To which the penguin quite reasonably responds, That's my business, thank you. And he carries on. Until, Wait! The penguin looks up again. What now? I wanted to warn you! The penguin, penguin frowns. <laughs> warn me of what? Of the polar bear! Said the albatross, looking in the direction of the big white hulking something or other. Now the penguin doesn't like this one bit, so he ponders for a moment and says, Hmm, no, it can't be. What do you mean? This is Antarctica, said the penguin, brimming with the confidence of someone armed with a fact acquired from the top search results of a poorly phrased Google query. <laughs> and in Antarctica, there are no polar bears. This shuts the albatross right up. of all the calories he could extract from said giant scoop of vanilla ice cream. So he carries on, except now he's got a bit of a jump in his waddle. <laughs> Wait! This time the penguin's like truly annoyed. What? Look, I'm just trying to help. I'm pretty sure that's a polar bear up ahead. But the penguin knows it isn't because it's clearly a giant scoop of vanilla ice cream. So he says, prove it. And the, and the albatross does an albatross shrug and says, I can't prove it beyond what I can see, but what I can see is a polar bear. Now it's clear to the penguin that this argument is going nowhere. So he says, why don't you go hang yourself on some poor sailor's neck? <laughs> <laughs> That is a sick burn. <laughs> the penguin knows how sensitive albatrosses are about hanging off people's necks. The albatross flies away. <laughs> the penguin feels a momentary pang of guilt, but that soon goes away when he remembers all the calories that await him. He beelines straight ahead, mouth watering the penguin drum, and he reaches the big white hulking something to other, and in his shock and surprise, it is not. A giant scoop of vanilla ice cream. It's a polar bear! <laughs> the penguin, penguin frowns. 
because he really doesn't want to admit that the albatross was right. His worry is short-lived, however, because the polar bear grabs the penguin like it's a stray piece of popcorn chicken and chomps down on it. Nom, nom, nom. And this is our happy ending. <laughs> Because now the penguin is spared the indignity of realising how irrational it is to deny the existence of a polar bear in Antarctica while simultaneously accepting the presence of a giant scoop of vanilla ice cream on a glacier. <laughs>